Hi everyone, Mom Forever. Let me back you guys up just a hair. You're looking at Elizabeth. She hasn't been changed for a long time. And I thought I would do that while I answer a tag that was, um, it's pretty old now. Um, it's by a new person that I just discovered her channel. Um, her name is Tasha. And she is from Pixie Mom, no wait, Pixie Mommy's Reborns. And it is a 12 question tag. So I won't waste any time and I'll get started because who knows how long I'll babble on about stuff. But I'm going to change Elizabeth while I answer questions. So the first one is, do you post a lot of videos? And is your channel monetized? Or would you like it to be? <clears throat> um, I post roughly uh, between three to four videos a week. And my channel is monetized. It's always been monetized ever since I started. Um, when I started my YouTube channel, I um, basically did a little bit of research about YouTube and decided that I was going to, um, you know, look into everything that YouTube had to offer. And monetization was something that was just uh, something that intrigued me. That, you know, a person could, person could get um, a kickback from YouTube from the amount of subscribers and amount of views on their videos. And I thought, you know, I may not ever get there, but why not? I mean, if I do someday, then I'll already have done it. And, you know, I'll reap the benefits of it. So that's basically my answer to question number one. Number two, what do you look for in other Reborn channels to watch? Um... I would say one of the main things I look for is um, I really enjoy getting to know the person behind the camera. But another thing I look for is the opportunity to see various sculpts. Um, that to me is really exciting because even though I have a lot of babies, I can't afford to get every sculpt that's out there. So it's nice to be able to have the luxury of seeing the ones that are out there that I don't have. Okay, so question number three. What type of videos do you like to make? Um, well, as of recently, my favorite type of videos to make are my wacky whenever videos because I have such a blast making those. And I would say the other type of video I like to make are um, changing videos. I do like to make those. Don't do very many hauls because I haven't been buying a lot of things. I mean, when I buy stuff, it's like one piece here, one piece there. Nothing major. Um, what else do I like to make? I like to uh, make videos with Goldie when she's available. Um, her and I have a lot of fun together in this... Uh, in this hobby. So yeah, that's probably the main things. Let's see, question number four. Do you plan out your videos or just roll with it? I totally roll with it. <laughs> I never plan anything. Um, I'm not a planner. Never have been, never will be. <laughs> I am one of those roll with the punches kind of person. And um, I just don't have my life figured out for me. So. Uh, oh, there's another part of that. Do you censor what you're saying or going to say? I do try to censor what I say just because um, I feel that, you know, we should be respectful <laughs> to one another and um, try my best not to offend anybody. So, yeah, I do try to, I do try to do that. Alright, question number five. 
Do you like it when others are inspired by your ideas or do you consider it stealing when someone else uses your ideas on your channel? Um, absolutely not. I don't have any problems with anybody doing something that I've done. Um, I think, you know, if people think that something that I have done has is like something that they feel was cool enough that they want to do themselves and they take it upon themselves to um, to learn from it and, and do it, you know, and mimic it, um, I don't have a problem with that whatsoever. So no. <laughs> I'm good with that. Uh, let's see. Question six. When you have a creative idea, do you just go with it or do you diligently check through the community to see if that idea has already been used? Um, I would have to say I just go with it. Um, again, that's me not being a planner. I just roll with the punches of things. So I would just do the same thing in that. Oh my gosh, doesn't she look cute in this? I know it's like kind of a gender neutral outfit. Let me grab my paper while I go. <clears throat> um, question seven, do you feel competitive in this community? <laughs> no, <laughs> um, I'm not a competitive kind of person. I mean, I like sports and everything, but I don't, I don't partake in the, uh, competitiveness of things. <clears throat> uh, number eight, do the numbers matter to you? Numbers by, I'm not sure exactly what this question means. If we're talking about subscribers and things like that. Uh, you know, do they mean something to me? Yeah, I guess they do in a way. Um, it's nice to know that your channel is growing. And it's nice to be able to, you know look and see more people that are enjoying your videos and you know in return you can enjoy their videos I guess like I that's kind of a, a roundabout answer I suppose but um, I can't really think of anything better to say in this particular point or moment but you know I do I do enjoy seeing the increase in subscribers. Um, I enjoy finding new channels in return. I don't always subscribe to everyone that subscribes to me. I kind of check out people's channels before I do so. And so that's kind of the answer to that, I suppose. Uh, let's see, number nine. Oh, I answered number nine. Are you sub to channels that are that are not sub to you? Oh no, I didn't. Uh, <laughs> Um, I probably am sub to channels that are not sub to me. Um, I don't know that I keep, I don't keep track. So if I like a channel and I think that what they, what they, the content they put out there is really cool, um, I subscribe to them. I don't necessarily feel like they have to be subscribed to me in return. Um, so yeah. I definitely do that. Uh, number 10. What is the most important to you above all else for your channel? The most important thing I would say is that um, that I have fun um, making videos and being in this community. If I'm not having fun then there's really no reason to stay here. Um, and, you know, yes, I hope that you all enjoy my videos, but if I don't enjoy making them, then it kind of goes hand in hand. If I don't enjoy making them, it, it probably comes across in how you're perceiving my channel, if that makes sense. So if, you know, if I'm completely uninterested in making videos. It's going to show in the way that I 
come across in videos. So hopefully it just come across in the way I am having lots of fun when I make videos and hopefully you can all see that or tell that by the way I um, present myself. All right, number 11. Do you read all comments? Absolutely, I read every comment and I reply to every comment. I may not reply with words for every comment, but I do something. I either give you a thumbs up or I heart it, or most of the time, but most of the time I do try to leave words in my comments. I usually try to always make sure that I tell you something, like thank you, or I appreciate you being here today, or um, if you said something funny, um, I really enjoy those, those are like my favorite comments. Um, like when we joke around with each other, those are like my favorite comments. <clears throat> so yeah. Do you comment on every video you watch? Is the very last question. And yes, I try to. I don't always know. Uh, but I do try to because I like when people give me comments. So I like to give them in return. And it plus it lets people know that you, you know, you... I guess care about them and you and you are interested in what they have to show so um, you know I just think that's a really great way to show our support and show our appreci appreciation for being here if you don't comment it's kind of like eh, I watched it but I didn't have time to mess with you <laughs> kind of thing I don't try to look at it that way because I know there's people that are busy and there's people that watch um, I've been hearing a lot of people saying that they watch videos through their television and they're not able to comment that way so that I totally understand um, I just for me personally I perceive a comment as something that you really enjoyed it and you just have to say something about it so that's kind of um, how I feel about that. And then we're asked to sum it up. Um, are we here for fun? Are we here to be popular? Are we here to earn a living? Uh, to make friends? Or anything else or all of the above? Um, I am definitely here for fun. Um, making friends just kind of came along with the territory. Um, I have made some wonderful friendships through the community and I'm enjoying those friendships very much. Um, I'm not here to be popular and I'm not, definitely not here to earn a living. <laughs> I have my own career and I um, enjoy my career very much so um, I don't think I would give that up to be a full-time YouTuber. Not in a million years. <laughs> I love you all, but I just am here kind of part-time, so that's my situation. Um, but yeah, that's about it. I mean, I really enjoy seeing the babies. I enjoy interacting with all of you, and I hope you enjoy my channel as well. So this is Elizabeth. She is my look-alike baby, and I had promised you guys to show um, a picture of myself. And guess what? I don't have it up here. Surprise, surprise. I'll have to do that again another time. I apologize. Um, but she is wearing a Jimboree outfit. It's got a cute little duck on here and a little worm. Can you see the little worm right there? <laughs> and uh, this is another Jimboree shirt I just paired with it because this was a purchase from um, Kid to Kid that uh, just came by itself. I'm sure it had a shirt with it, but um, I didn't have one to go with it. So I put this little shirt with it. It's got um, little tan dots all over it, and the little eyeball to the duck is brown. So, um, and then I kept her tan socks on as well. So yeah, this is Elizabeth. She's so cute. She is the Owen sculpt. I'm going to get her closer to you so you can see her better. She's the Owen Sculpts by um, Laura Tazia Ross. And yeah, she's my girl. She's got painted hair. And she has beautiful skin tone. I don't know if it comes across in the video or not, but she has a really pretty skin tone. 
and she reminds me of me when I was in the hospital. My hospital picture, I'm um, kind of making that face, and I've got my fists up here by my face, and I'm kind of squishing my cheeks together and per and pursing my lips like that, like I'm giving a kiss or something. So this baby reminded of me, reminded me of myself the most. So. <laughs> Out of all the sculpts I've seen so far in my life, um, yeah, she seems to be the one. And this one happens to be painted very similar to um, how I looked in my hospital picture. Um, in fact, I don't see this particular artist um, out there much um, in this day. So I don't know if she's not painting anymore or, or you know, if she's doing other things or if, if I just don't happen to catch anything that she paints but she um, she did a really nice job on on Elizabeth so yeah I hope you guys all enjoy that um, I know I've seen already uh, several videos of this tag already but if there happens to be any of you out there that did not answer this tag yet um, I can link um, the tag in the description below so you can go check it out and answer all the questions if you'd like to. Um, and Tasha, I'm glad to have found your channel. I'm looking forward to learning more about you and uh, seeing your babies. I think it'll be fun. So yeah, thank you all so much for watching. Please give me a thumbs up if you would like. Subscribe if you're not already, and share the video if you want to spread the love. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye.